This is Word Assignment 2. We're going to learn a few more features of Word. And you're also going to learn how to submit links or sources for things you copy off the internet. So to do that, you need a separate program. You can click on the desktop. Click Go, Applications. And the applications that you want is going to be at the bottom. You'll have to scroll down and it's text edit. And you'll double click. And click on new document. To be careful, we'll save as first. And you will select your home folder and then just say journal links. I'm going to put two here because I already have one. You want rich text document. Okay, so you'll need to insert images. And we'll go to Safari for that. You will be most likely doing Google search for images. So here I've entered China map and images. You want to pick good resolution images, so not too high and not too low. So anywhere between 600 pixels wide to 1,000 pixels wide. You'll click on the image, and then you'll get the true size. This is just a thumbnail, so don't copy this image. This is the image you'll want to copy. But before we copy, we want to copy the image address and then go over to text edit and we paste that and you should label it Mr. Wong's links you'll be putting in your name if I click on this one and copy image address it won't be right you can see a big mess there, okay? So copy the right one and you'll be fine. And you can double check by clicking on this link. See, we have a nice big picture, so that's correct. You'll need to click on it first to get the actual big image. Copy image address or command tab to text edit and paste. This one's clear because it says 800 pixel flag. If I click on the close and click on this one, copy image address, it says 125 pixel flag. That's incorrect, so that's not the one we want. Just hit Command Z to undo. Again, copy image. If that's not available, use Save Image to Downloads and then grab it off your Downloads folder. Copy image. Okay, we paste into here. That's too big, so we need to make it smaller. You just click on it, and it will resize with the proper aspect ratio. If you resize with this, it's going to make the picture look wrong because it's got the wrong aspect ratio. If you do that, just hit Command Z. Always size it with the corners and it'll preserve the aspect ratio. Okay, that's not how we want it to look because it's just not in line with the text at all. So there's a couple ways to do this. We format picture and we can say square or tight. Now we can move it and then the text will flow around the image. Sometimes this is what we want, and sometimes it's not. If I move it up here, this per first paragraph is fine. Uh, if I look at the second paragraph, sometimes it's a little bit hard to read because the margins don't line up. So the other way to format it is to format in front of text. So it's more free flowing.
It won't stay with the text. It'll be just wherever you put it. So now I want to change these two paragraphs to have a narrower margin. We need to select the whole paragraph, the whole two paragraphs, and now we can adjust the margin. And we can move the flag and it'll stay relative to the page. It won't adjust with the text. Let's grab another image. We'll grab the map, copy image, and paste the image. Again, we want to click on the image so we have the anchors to drag. And your text and image will shift depending on how you size it. And again, let's format the picture. We'll say tight, OK. And you can see we can put the image right in the middle, but it makes the text really hard to read. Generally, you just want to have it on either the left side or the right side. And size it so that it makes it make sense. To make things interesting, you don't always want to have the images on the right side or on the left side. Sometimes you just want to mix it up to make it look a little bit more interesting. Okay, so a reminder, you need to do your links to your images or any source that you copy, any source text that you copy. Last thing you need to do is sometimes the pictures are too big and I don't want my box filled up. So you need to reduce the file size. This is under the file menu, reduce file size. And we want to have the smallest available. So 96 pixels per inch. Click OK. And then save your file. Let's take a quick look at the rubric. So you have to have a meaningful, meaningful file name and title. And the rest are from before. So you need correct pixel resolution. Not too big, not too small. Horizontal width of 600 to 1000. Correct aspect ratio. The pictures need to be relevant. The placement means, needs to be good. You need to reduce the file size. And you need to include the links document. And that completes this lesson.